can change now. And can you do both? Now, have you tried doing adju any adjustments to the engine based on what you're seeing? Yeah, we did a little bit. Uh, but I think we've got to get a little more aggressive with our adjustments. We're very tough. We're very heated. Okay. Uh, the, the valve here, but I think uh, we'd like to open a little later on and, okay. uh, and maybe close a little later on because we've got a bunch of vacuum here. This should, this should really come around here. And up. Okay. It's funny, on both, the site is not complete. What do you mean? Uh, no, it does. It's confusing with both. Okay. It almost looks like this is supposed to hook up here, but it's not. That's the tail end of it. Okay. Yeah. So can you show me how it's actually hooked up? Sure. So it's kind of tricky here. Um, we went into the hole for oiling uh, the, the connecting rod. Okay. And so I have to stop every now and then and pump a pull this out and pump a bunch of oil in there. Okay. So we're, uh, we're talking about ha having a way to do it from outside while it's running. Um, but in any event, this is the encoder. So this shaft has a, this little uh, double bearing on here so that the um, uh, little magnet that's on, there's a little tiny magnet that's rotating here that's magnetized diametrically and it's uh, within a millimeter of a um, uh, I see it's full of uh, an array of hall sensors on the uh, inside of the board, and then there's a processor in that I see that uh, that blends the, all the signals and comes up with a nice uh, analog output signal. It does digital out as well if you want, but I wanted analog because you get a volt every voltage is a unique place on the um, so it's, a, it's essentially an absolute uh, encoder. So that goes up here to an Ar Arduino. Arduino is inside here, which also has two pressure sensors, and so they're running the two pressures off the two ends of the um, of the cylinder, the crank end and the uh, head end. And then, so this guy's job, all his job is, is to sample those three. When it sees that the engine's gone about uh, I don't know, four, three or four degrees, it sends up a set of data, and then it keeps sampling, and then sends up through the serial or through this uh, USB cable to the laptop. Um, the plan is to do it all with a Raspberry Pi. Are you familiar with the Raspberry Pi? Vaguely. Uh, so here's a, here it is. It's a complete computer. HDMI, Ethernet, a bunch of uh, USB ports on it, a uh, SD card for the hard drive, uh, and um, it uh, runs Linux. And uh, it's not quite fast enough, given the way that I'm processing the data right now. Okay. The data uh, comes out of here. I can only update the screen uh, 120 frames per second, but the data is coming faster than that. Wow. And I'm updating every time I get one more data point, I try to redraw the whole screen. So I, what I got to do is when the engine's running faster, is each time I do it, draw all the data points that was received since the last time I updated the screen. And uh, that's just more complicated, so I'll do that in the next few weeks and um, improve it. So 